Alright, well, welcome back to our Let's Play of Galactic Civilizations 3 once again, folks. Today we are, hopefully, hopefully going to start the offensive on, uh, well, the, uh, the, the people over here. What are they called again? The Drinsk Empire, I think? Something along the lines of that. Anyhow, uh, we were able to fend them off last episode. Scored, I think... At, le at the very least, three of their ships, and we took down one of their planets, which was very, very nice. And over here, let's get another star base set up. And let's get a mining ring and a mining barracks for now. Doesn't look like we can have mining and perhaps some sort of eco ring for the planet, so we'll do that. And we'll get another patrol boat to explore around. Got another corvette built. Send that over here, send these uh, uh, ships up. And all right, so our fleet is, uh, yeah, our fleet is good. We're starting to ship things forward here. Where's my pirate boat? Ah, it's inside this fleet. Okay. Ooh, ah, that's a quick thing. The Ravager over here is trying to intercept one of our scouts. Okay. There we go, we can load up another one of these uh, transport ships to send out. So we'll do that. And a refuge prime here. I think I'll... Uh, hmm. I think I'll remove or I'll see what I can do about getting tech, some more tech going on. It doesn't look like we need too much uh, military spending now, so I think we'll move towards tech here. The reason being is that... Let's see what we can do here. That's being built. Uh, my reasoning for it is that... Oh, this planet produces... Holy... 45,000 cash. But that's right. We uh, we spec this out, so that's fully... Uh, a full planet just for income. Uh, in this case, we can dedicate everything to producing military tech. And we can check our shipyard for whether or not it is indeed on the, on the sponsor list. Yeah, it is on the sponsor list, so that's good. Uh, do we want frigates? No, I don't think so. I think we want some more corvettes. So the reason being is that... Uh, oh man, what was, I, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Oh, where is this? So this planet's queue is empty, that's fine. Ferrum 1's queue is empty. And they recently built a lot of research buildings, okay. So in this case, Govern Planet. I'll switch this to... Uh, uh, let's see, we'll get it to produce something like that. Spend all of its uh, points in social towards building. Uh, let's see. We could try to fit in another uh, research center there, but this plan will be spec'd out for, for generating us research, I guess. And we're producing 128 in, in the period of war, so that's not too bad. And over here, uh, we're going to start to, uh, to need a lot of... let's see. Let's see. Migo will manage this, so we'll set it up so that research and both of those have priority. And we'll do something like that. Yeah, the thing is right now, I really need to uh, grab a thing, uh, a few ships to grab these approval relics. But apart from that, our planets are doing really, really well for for the most part. Ooh. 
we have the DS Ravager once again, folks. Come on, you have five moves. That should get over there soon enough. Hmm, let's see. Eh, we'll skip giving them tech for free. I want to finish off this ship and I want to see how, uh, how our ships here do. So, so let's check this out. <laughs> Yeah, we certainly have a lot of ships now. Woo! You should look at that. Got a nice barrage effect coming. Would you look at that? The uh, the pirates' boats' is, uh, guns, the four guns on the front, they actually seem to do fire all of them. That is really really neat. But anyhow, that uh, that front's going pretty well so far, so I'm pretty happy with the results. I'll send another ship forwards. And now for the shipyard. We're still building corvettes, and let's see. Damn, we only have uh, so many, so many spots for sponsoring uh, planets over here. And unfortunately, the the ones that are eh, actually all of these are pretty far away. But Clanarald over here. Starting to produce a lot. Huh, I guess I'll have to just keep things where they are for now. Okay. Ah, but the main fleet uh, doesn't have enough range to go all the way through here. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to try to take a look back. So Gothar, Clanarald, and Priam over here. They don't have a, a shipyard location. In that case, I might want Gothar over here, or I might want to build a constructor, and I might want to build a, a shipyard up inside this region of space so that those three uh, planets have a location to pull resources. And likewise, I might want to make another one over here. For now, taking a look at the diplomacy rate, we are the first economic and military powers, so we should be pretty good. And our corvettes can go further into uh, into space. So let's see. Yeah, so some of our ships can go forwards, some of them can't. I'm guessing the gunboats can't. Uh, the corvettes have proven that they can, so we'll eject them. And we'll get this thing to be a more so of a defensive fleet, and we'll just station that at the uh, the military outpost over there. So in the meantime, we'll get our corvettes to make a line here. We'll get the uh, yeah the what what is it called again the transport ship to stall up for that. And for now, we'll just try to skirmish off with anything that they send from their borders over here. Okay. So the DS Ravager came over here. I'm gonna get these two fleets to stack up. And we'll try to get another uh, planetary force going over here. Now, likewise, I'm just gonna 
try to keep an eye out for uh, for developments over there. We'll get another Corvette out. Let's hop over here and let's build two constructors. Right now I have a feeling that the military is good and we have large scale construction. So this is very, very good. Let's get hot, uh, life support so that we can get some better fighters out in the future. So then uh, we don't run out with, uh, with one of these problems again where, uh, ooh, that's close where we're uh, running out of space, mostly on that front. And let's see, over here we're fighting some pirates. I'll quick battle it, we probably will lose this one. Yeah, pirates aren't uh, that aggressive there. So Galactic Domain Act, so the UP is uh, doing its thing over here. So this is the thing about colo uh, keeping uncolonized planets as part of empires, if they're inside our zone, we'll vote yes. Uh, the decision has been reached. It looked like the uh, yeah the final vote is yes, so that's good. Uh, we'll have to get at something to to stop these pirate incursions in a bit, but they don't seem to be too hazardous. And all right, so we'll pull our fleet back over there. Over here, we'll take a look at Trilsk, and there doesn't seem to be any defenders. Ooh. So very, very good for us. We'll build another one of these research platforms and that should give us a lot of leeway there. And let's see, I'm guessing the idle, the, where the best location to build a, uh, a star base over here would probably be right at the sun. It's close enough to this planet. It'll be, I would say, slightly close to that planet. This one is going to be far away either way. So yeah, that's that. And what do these guys want? Uh, so, uh, the Iridium Corporation comes to you with an opportunity. The Baran are dangerous and we appreciate aid in getting rid of them. Um, so, if they want us they want us to declare war on them and they'll give us the knowledge of life support. I'm going to pass that for now. And, and ooh, we can build a battleship now. Would you look at that? This is a hulking thing. Wow. But it has eh, kind of low damage from the looks of it. Cruiser is more worthwhile. I wouldn't mind having two of those. We're just pumping out a whole bunch of cash, so that is fine. And let's grab an approval rat. Like, I see some planets dipping down from that uh, perfect score of 100. And once we add another planet over here, that might, uh, that might go down further. So let's see. They have two blister interceptors defending against all of this. I want to do free cam for a bit. I don't know how to move the free cam though. No, that doesn't do it. Ah, that was a quick battle, okay. But yikes, that takes that thing down. We'll do conventional warfare again. And uh, invader casualties, we lost about 1.1 some people. They lost about 4.4, so that was a very expensive battle, but we were able to finish them off nicely. They have a shipyard over here. That's not going to produce anything for the for the near for the time for the time being. And we managed to secure another uh, group of space for us, so that's pretty good. Right, so let's take a look at what this colony does. So they have uh, evidently a research stockade is what makes research for them. They have a forced labor camp, so <laughs> you know what that does. Uh, another one of these things. Uh, they have some caverns on this planet and a cataract, so good manufacturing, good research on the side. This thing produces even better manufacturing, so I don't know why they have a science building next to it. Um, but we're not going to destroy that just yet. For this planet right now, I think I'll I think I'll add some more research like that, honestly. Um, let's build a military academy inside the uh, inside the caverns over here. I want this to be a fairly militarized world. That way, uh, this will be a border yeah a border planet in the strictest sense. Let's see what they're sending. Single ooh, single escort ship. We'll fight that. So the war continues. I 
and another ship bites the dust. Perfect. Oh, hey, that space yard actually disappears. Okay. So that's good. And we've, uh, <laughs> we've asserted our, our dominance over there. At least for now. So this is all well and good. And perfect, we finished uh, life supply. And so this actually, yeah, it upgrades all of our uh, ship designs so that they can go slightly further. This is really, really good. And with that said, um, you know what? I think we'll end the episode here. This will be a bit of a shorter episode just kind of because um, as I need to figure out what we need to do for more tech and where we really want to go with, uh, with the fleet basing here. So uh, to end that off, we could take a look at their faction power again, perhaps. It looks like they have been busy pumping out ships and we're actually second in military tech now. But what else are they good at? They're good at influence. So I'm guessing they have a whole vast span of space behind over here. They probably control all these suns. Anyhow, um, I think I'll see you guys next time for that. Uh, so far, this has been quite the interesting uh, military campaign. Bye-bye for now.